Everything is in one place. That really remains a big advantage. And because there are several backup systems, you're simply more reliable as a large company. Uh, we're here at our dairy farm in Engelholm, Friesland. Uh, I run this farm together with my wife and my son. Uh, we milk just under 600 dairy cows. Uh, a bit over 500 are currently in milk. Besides that, we have around 300 young stock. Uh, the farm uses uh, about 200 hectares of land, most of which is grassland, and about 10 hectares is used for silage maize. We've been working with the Lely astronaut Max since April 9th. That's about nine months now. Right now, 10 robots are connected to the astronaut Max. We have little downtime, not much hassle, so it's going very well. The big advantages are having all cleaning agents together in terms of safety, but also labor efficiency. Less time spent rinsing, simply because the robots don't have to wait for each other. So you never have groups rinsing at the same time. That's ideal for job satisfaction. And I think milk quality is better in the end and less downtime. So everything stays nicely together in the clean area. Less hassle, backup systems that support each other, the vacuum pumps. That's why I have less downtime. It really is a big advantage. Uh, until April last year, the cows were milked three times a day in a rapid exit milking parlor. That required uh, a lot of people, and in our case, many different people. Uh, we ran into the issue that uh, one milker would have a slightly different routine than another, and uh, cows don't like that. Uh, in April last year, we started with 10 Lely astronauts. Uh, uh, that's what's milking the cows now. And what really stands out is the, the calm in the barn. We've really noticed that the, the cows seem to appreciate being pushed around a lot less. They no longer have to wait in the holding area and can be milked on their own time. Their behavior quickly spread out across the full 24 hours. The Lely astronaut Max also makes the barn much quieter. You don't hear the pumps. They're all placed separately in a closed off room. That creates even more calm in the barn, which is really nice. It has a very large buffering capacity. We've had a situation where one robot was sucking in air, but the other robots didn't even trigger a vacuum alert because the system kept the vacuum so stable and the robots just kept on milking. Even though a hose had come loose on that one robot, it still didn't drop below the critical value needed to shut down. So that's definitely a big advantage. The labor savings with the Astronaut Max mainly come from having one system instead of five CUs. You'd have to go to each of those to refill the cleaning agents every week. Now we have large containers. We just check them once a week and they only need to be replaced once every three or four weeks. So that really saves time and makes things easier. Water and electricity use is about the same as when we milk three times a day in the milking parlor, but in almost 18 hours a day. By buffering the water with large tanks, you're a bit more flexible in when you refill them, so you don't need as much water pressure, because that's still a challenge with 10 robots, getting all that rinse water there at the same time. I'd say the Dairy XL concept was a major reason why we chose Lely. Uh, in the end, uh, we quickly saw there was a lot of valuable knowledge available. Uh, the Dairy XL team really helped us shape the blueprint for our farm. We're very happy with the result, the robots, the selection areas, and, and the full layout all work together smoothly. Well, here it is, the Astronaut Max. As you can see, the milk lines come in here. These are the milk lines from all 10 robots. They go into the receiver back here. We have two receiver tanks here, tank one and tank two. They switch per rinse cycle. The milk flows into one tank, and the next time it goes into the other. Then the cleaning batch runs the other way around. So this is the complete milk receiving section, you could say. This part here is the cleaning section. This is where the cleaning agents come in from the other room. They get mixed in these tanks and sent to the robot. Brustis, acid, and alkaline. 
And this agent comes in here as well. These tanks are for water, two with hot water and one for cold water, which is stored here. This is also where the batch is prepared for rinsing the robots. That happens three times a day. With the Astronaut Max, we've had very little trouble so far with downtime or malfunctions. Of course, there's always something now and then, but we almost never have to get up at night to go check on it. The Astronaut Max usually just keeps running. You're still involved in the process, but you really start to appreciate the piece and how smoothly things go, and it keeps getting a little better over time. It's also good to look back and think about what we've already done. We've achieved a lot and we're really proud of how we did that together. If we had to do it again now, we'd definitely choose the Astronaut Max again.